Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, eBay has been an absolute nightmare the last couple of weeks. Full of glitches, hardly any sales. It's absolutely dead as a dodo. So let's just have a good old moan. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And uh, yeah, it's Monday night again. It's just me. Uh, Belle's not feeling too good tonight, which means we decided to put back the Easter show. We had a big show lined up tonight for Easter, um, but uh, we'll hopefully do it next week. So if you want to tune in again next week, hopefully Belle will be back and uh, we'll have a big Easter show lined up for you. Be a lot of fun, I'm sure. So you're stuck with me tonight. I hope that's okay. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about how um, eBay just seems to be pl proper glitchy, really. Like I'm talking like if it's not one thing, it's another. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm not working hard enough. Sales have been pretty poor. Um, they picked up a bit at the weekend, but generally, I would say generally week on week, the last couple of weeks have been poor. Um, but you just have to keep plowing through it. You just got to keep working. You just got to keep listing. Um, and I know that um, it can be demotivating, but all you can do is just carry on and hope that things iron itself out. And eBay sort out their app. They sort out their platform because eBay are clearly making changes at the moment. Every time I log in, there's something different going on. Um, very glitchy. Uh, welcome, everybody, in the chat. We want to talk about that. We've got sale of the week. We've got comment of the week. We've got an oh, no, as well. We've not had an oh, no for a while. And it's not the fact that eBay is shite at the minute. We've got this is heavy to do. We've got some thank yous. We'll talk about what not Wednesday. And um, anything else you want to chat about, just drop it in the chat. I'll be happy to talk about anything you like. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on the chit chat. And just spilt me brew, I think. Oh, it's only a little drip. No worries. Right. Um, two minutes. Get all your hellos in now, please. Two minutes. And I'm going to try and say hello to as many people in the chat as possible in the allotted time and it's gonna start just about now let me get back to the beginning elaine parks welcome we've got chris tyler peter ray's in the house tam and bell resale fluffy the muffin hillary Rhodes. uh we've also got um have i said tam and bell already helen helen um once love treasures is in m's then uk uh, pat walker um, who else we got? Come on. Come on. Tam and Bell Resell are saying literally hello to everybody, which is nice. Uh, Lin Lin is here. Limelight Vinci, see what you buy. Um, also, we've got bloody hell. 
Retro Hawk, Evening Troops, um, Brummy the Time Lord, have I said once Love Treasures, Richard Payne, ABL Reselling, Jones in, hi Joan, Kevin Hawthorne from Florida, um, we've also got Flea Market Jeff, welcome to you, um, anyone else in, anyone else? It's the same people. Husty's Emporium, Andrew Worth. Welcome to you. The Tap Peddler, Derek. And we also have Kev Smith. Welcome to you, Mr. Crummy. Um, Alison is in. Who else we got? Who else we got? Come on. Same people. Del Boy Dan is in. Have I said Helen? I don't know. Um... Kev Smith, have I said, I don't know, I've lost it. Cheap Charlie's in. Uh, come on, Chris, come on. I'll try and get back to all your little messages in a minute. I'm just skipping through. George's Treasure Shed is in. Nothing major. Pitco. Um, that's it, I think. I'm up, my time's up. Tracy's in. Hi, Tracy. Um, retro Electronic Repairs here. Uh, Karen Evans, Barbara the Alien, Dwayne, Dwayne's birthday. Let's stop there for a minute. Let's stop there on Dwayne's birthday because we can't miss that, can we? Here we go. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday to Dwayne. Hope you have a good one. Hope you've had a good one because it's nearly over. Hi, Laura as well. Lisa Bokes, Janet YLM, Vinyl Nuts. Um, and lots more. Jason and Twistle. Uh, Sandra, Lisa, Ready Steady Retro. Um, Tango, two pints as well. Right, let me just skip back up the chat because we did have a few. I need You can star them now on... Um, you can star comments on StreamYard so that you can come back to them, but I forgot. So it's pointless me even telling you about that because uh, I didn't do it. Um, I need to remember to do that next time, especially when I'm on my own. Uh, George's Treasure Share said exactly the same with me. Best day in two weeks. Um, £97 normally, try for a £100 day. Hopefully it'll get better soon. Uh, once love shares, my sales have been pretty much stable and consistent with almost 25% increase on last month. Well, you're doing all right then, Paul. Um, it's always the way, though. Whenever some people are not doing so well, there's always people who are doing absolutely fine or doing amazingly well. Um, that's how sort of unpredictable, unpredictable it is. Because next week, I might have an amazing week. And then someone else will have a shit week. And just the way it goes, in it. I'm I'm hoping it kind of comes out of this slump pretty soon. Otherwise, I'll have to whatnot everything for a pound. Uh, Alison said, mine have been dead too. I messaged eBay on Facebook an hour later. I had four sales and lots of offers. Ooh, that's interesting. It does always seem to work when you got in contact with um, eBay, doesn't it, to complain? Um, they do seem to... Um, sort of, you know, provoke some sales. Um, okay, I'll come back. If if I've missed anyone's comments, please re-enter it in or copy and paste it back in um, so that I can just keep a, a track of all the chat here today. Welcome, everyone, 113 people in. Uh, let me see if I can get right back down to the bottom. Uh, yeah, do put any questions in. If you've got any comments, observations, or I know, did someone put an observation in before, which I missed? If I did, please re-enter it, because I was flying through the chat before. Um, yeah, happy birthday to Dwayne. Uh, Once Love says, just had a £100, £120 sale on a pair of chinos. Nice. That's good. Good sale. Uh, let's see who else we got coming in here now. Uh, George says, I've never had so many no sales days consistently listing as well. Yeah. I mean, I must admit, if I'm going to be honest with myself, and I said it in the Discord earlier, a couple of days ago, whatever. Um, 
my listing has been inconsistent, but I've always listed some every day, uh, but probably not to my normal sort of standards. So I guess you reap what you sow, as far as I'm concerned. But George has said that he's been consistently listing anyway. Lisa said, I was doing okay this week, then had two no sales days, uh, but had three sales today. Okay. Uh, Lynn Lynn says, my bank account is crap, addicted to whatnot. Sorry about that, Lynn Lynn. Jones purchased some bargains on eBay this week. Secret Carpers popped in. Lana, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I thought about this as well, Lana. I've, I've not, and en I, I ended and restarted. So yeah, I changed from ten to eight percent. So yeah, could be. eBay could have taken a dislike to me dropping two percent. Hopefully that will right itself if it is the case, because you have to ride out the storm when you do that. What I found with eBay is, whenever you do like a negative change on your promoted listings, like you go down. It takes a, a little while for eBay to settle down. It's like they really, they really don't like you uh, reducing your promoted listings. Mr. Crummy said, I've had a lot of non-payers over the last seven days. Getting into double figures, that is a lot, Mr. Crummy. I've always got non-payers on the go. Despite the fact that eBay are, are, are slow, I mean, slow. whenever they roll something out eBay, they don't half roll it out slowly, don't they? Um, they've been rolling this out for months now, the fact that people have to pay immediately. And, um, yeah, I'm still getting them. I'm st I've still constantly got non-paying, uh, non-paid items on the go. There's always somebody. Pitco's got six iPhones and a laptop. Ah, blimey, that's a lot to be working through. Dave's going on a sourcing holiday. Oh, where are you off to, Dave? Thailand, you'll source yourself a bride. Uh... And dreamy blue eyes. I don't know. It's probably because the light is very white here. It's very white. So it's probably the reflection. But I've, I've always had dreamy blue eyes. Uh, I changed my name to eBay store, but everyone keeps saying hello, Barbara. So I had to add my name at the end. Oh, I didn't see the Claire B bit, to be honest, Barbara. I just saw Barbara the alien. I didn't even see Claire B. Uh, Tap Peddler, terrible sales here too, but not been listing consistently or enough. Mm. Hi, Bills and Moon. Nicola, welcome. Half term, I don't know. I don't buy into the these half terms, payday weeks and all that. I just don't buy into it. Um, there's probably something in it, but... I'm not sure. I don't really think half term makes that much difference. Mm. I knew somebody said observation. I saw that word. My observation was that just by adding SKUs to some listings today, it generated interest in items that have been quiet. Yeah, um, it's like the old thing, Paul, about making a, a non-edit can help your store. So if you do a bulk edit on all your items, but you don't actually edit anything and then you just hit enter and it bulk edits all your items without actually editing anything, allegedly that can help you sort of refresh your store. I did it today. It's done. Cool. Uh, Kevin is, says mine's just ticking over. Well, I tell you, what, be thankful for that, Kevin, that it's just ticking over. You're better off that it's ticking over, not at all. Flipping L says, I've had no sales for five days. eBay, Etsy and Vinted all dead. Oof. What, do you, how long do you, do you normally go without a sale flipping out? Obviously, everyone's different, aren't they? And um, is it normal or is that especially unusual? You know, let us know. Uh, sales are crap, but definitely my fault. Lack of listing. 
at least you're honest with yourself. At least you know, like you know, you know potentially what the problem is, and you can fix that pretty easy. You know, I say pretty easy. You got to get off your ass and do some. Yeah, and sometimes I have to tell myself that as well. Uh, Tap pedal has made seven pound forty nine today. What have I done today? I might have only made one sale. I'll have to have a look. JLL Trading says, uh, been pretty consistent for me. Weekend was pants, but today's been good. That's good. That's the roller coaster, isn't it? You get some bad days and you get a really good day. I don't think anybody's, I'll be very surprised if anybody's graph on eBay is consistently like that without any ups and downs. Sales are steady, says Andrew. Listing consistently and investing in better stock. That's the way to go. Husty said, they cleared the cash and all that jazz after three no-sales days and boom, three sales today, 170 quid. Nice. Can Tommy Lee have a happy... Of course. Where is he? Have I seen him? Oh, retro electronic. Have I seen him already? I've I've shouted him out. For God's sake, Tommy, you little mad ass. Um. Okay, this is especially for Tommy Lee. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday, mate. Have a good one. I hope you've had a nice day. Dave's going to Mauritius. Mauritius? Oh, what are you sourcing in Mauritius? Seashells? Sand? I've noticed that when you type price into listing, it doesn't always show. Type price into... What do you mean, Chris? When you type price into list, what you mean when you're listing an item and you put the price in? I had a glitch with writing the prices in last week, and that's rectified itself now. And I've had other glitches since then. But did you mean that when you're putting the price on your listing? Because I've had one a bit like that. If that is the case, looks like you've had a power cut. You know, you know what it is. There's a new thing on the on the MacBook. Um, when you've got a video stream running, this little box comes up on the on the top of the screen, and you can um, you can put studio light on. Um, and also, I've stopped lighting up the background. I think it looks better without it background. But look, right, this is this is a new button on the MacBook Air. This is nothing to do with StreamYard. So at the moment, I've got studio light on, and when I press it, oh, oh, slight difference. That's without studio light on, and because I've got lights on anyway. But and that is studio light, which I think looks slightly better darkening the background. Uh, yeah, and also I can do this portrait. I can blur the background. And that's just on the MacBook. That's nothing to do with StreamYard, which I only saw it the other week. A different look to my set. Yeah, it's just that. I've, I've stopped lighting up the background, that's all. Uh, this started for me in... Is that January? Had a seven day period of no sales out of nowhere. Wow, that's that's mad, isn't it? Seven days of no sales. Crikey. You, I think you know that there's something wrong if that happens. You know, you're obviously not getting any visibility at all. Uh, there you go. Flipping out said it's not normal for them. Two, two days no sales is normal. I'm only part time. Yeah, that's what I mean. Everyone's different, aren't they? Everyone's got a different running a different business. So. Yeah, so it's not normal to have five. I wouldn't have thought it would. I don't think it's normal for many people to have five days without sales. Peter Ray, welcome. Made £15 on eBay today. Sales have been poor for two weeks, but that's mainly because I've been pretty ill and still recovering. I hope you feel better soon, Peter. 
Vinyl Nuts said, I find that sellers keep too much old stock on their eBay sites and I give up looking for the new stuff. Fair enough, yeah. I've had big clear outs of old stock. Um, I know I've, I've mentioned it in the last few weeks, but um, before Christmas, I was sort of around like 1500 listings i'm now on i'm now hovering around between eight and 900 listings uh because i've cleared out a lot of old stock um yeah and i i'm going to i'm going to reduce things i'm going to uh edit listings much more regular than i used to to try and get them moving quicker <laughs> was that a real thank you tommy a real thank you he's fine have a good birthday tam and bell tries to list 10 items a day minimum it's always a good target to hit i think tam and bell um i saw your sales video i did watch it i didn't comment what i'm finding at the minute by the way guys if i do watch most people's videos that i follow um but I've because I've got this big screen now, I tend to watch everyone's videos on that. And then I, I, I don't comment as often as I used to. So I do apologize if I don't comment. Let's see if I can get down and down the chat a bit. Well, I mean, we're talking, we're, we're covering the main subject now, eBay glitches and eBay sales. So that's the main subject. We're covering that now, but we can carry on throughout the show. You know, if you've got something to add to it. Oh, price doesn't show. Yeah, I had it last week, Chris. I was listing on my desktop and I was putting the price in. And then when I was going to do the photographs and finish the listing and hit list, because that's the way I'm working at the minute, the pricing was changing every time. It was changing complete, like a completely random number, like not even... Like I might list something on the desktop for $99.99. I'd go over there to take the photo, go on the draft, and it would be listed at £24.32 or something stupid like that. You know, completely random. When you put the price in on eBay, sometimes uh, it's not giving... It, yeah, the price guide, yeah. I don't, I don't, I just completely ignore that price guide thing anyway. Uh, Les is in. Hi, Les. Evening, Chris. We just started listing after a break over winter. And what the hell have eBay been up to with changes? Struggling to list and sort delivery preferences. <laughs> is this a new normal? Probably, Les, yeah. I don't think the, the listing process has changed much in a few months, Les, but certainly you're going to probably uh, uh, come across some glitching. Oh, hang on a minute. What's this? Uh, Santa, can we get a happy birthday for my youngest sister, Crystal, please? She's 44 today and was my first elf on a home visit. Wow. Yeah, of course we can do that. Let me find it. Here we go. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday to Crystal. Whoopsie daisy. Hang on. Just press the wrong button. Wow, there's a lot of chatting. Hi, married to reselling. Welcome. Get some LED strips. Yeah, it might look good, mightn't it? Yeah. I don't know if I can be asked, Chris, to be honest. But I, I get you, it probably would look good. Uh, once Lord says, I'm about to pull a load of old stock from eBay to put on Vinted Pro when it, when it arrives. You might be waiting a while, Paul. Still no sign of Vinted Pro. One minute we think it's about to start and next minute there's no sign of it. Yeah, I've had the same as that, Peter, as well. I've had it a lot today where I've had like batches of offers to send out. So you go on the app and it says, oh, you can send out six offers. So you go to send six offers out and five of them 
will will say cannot send the offer and one only one will send i've had that all day today i think i could have sent about i could have sent about 50 offers today but most of them have been rejected for some reason it's proper weird hi tyler i'm loving this haircut by the way absolutely loving it it's so short i really like it so we're definitely doing that again next month new one today trying to go back to sell a hub after printing labels mm. i'll say that I, I don't use that process so i'm not familiar with it but another glitch yeah i have the same as that lisa the old layout new layout on some day, some days the 90 day total is the old 90 day total and some day, sometimes it's the new 90 day total royal mail royal mail prices go up next week I really do not like this new postage and packing method that's recently come out. It's horrible. What what method is this, Tango? What method is this? Let us know in the chat, please. Uh, new haircut. Well, it's just a bit shorter than normal. I've gone I've gone for uh, a skin fade, but he's kind of done not a full on skin fade at the back, at the back and sides. Can you see? It's very very short um he didn't go full on this time but i think next time we're going full on tyler full on skin fades sod it let's do it just cut it all off uh chrissy doing a, a yes podcast this week i'm just i've been trying to organize that today actually uh this week's podcast is all about we're talking to somebody across the pond again across the pond what's it like thrifting in new york city that is going to be the podcast this week. Fingers crossed that it that it comes off. I'm just I've been trying to organise it today, um, and we're going to be talking to somebody from the Big Apple about what is it really like thrifting in New York. That should be interesting. Uh, JLL says nothing made to, motivates me more than to list when I get a no sales day. Yeah. Uh, the offers that fail when you bulk send offers out can be sent individually. Not for me, it couldn't, Dave, because they, when they fail, um, they've been disappearing off the offer list, like as if it's sent, but um, they've not been staying on the list for me. Otherwise, I would have had like 30, over 30 offers, additional offers to send today, but they've been disappearing off the list when they've failed. Thought he would have swapped for a beanie. <laughs> oh, it were cold. Bloody hell, it were cold. Uh, buy, sell, trade. eBay's been awful for me as well the last few weeks. No matter what I do, the sales aren't happening. Just got to keep going. Just keep pushing. Keep listing. Do exactly what it says in your name. Apart from the sell bit obviously not working right now but if you carry on doing the rest it will it will work eventually it will yeah facebook keep advertising a site called jog it on yeah we talked we've talked about it i think we touched on it last week um and i i did I think I did share the screen and had a look at their website and stuff, but uh, it's, it looks to be in very, very early days. There's barely anything listed on the site. True. Yeah. Forrest Gump. Who knows? Who knows, Chris? Who, who knows who it could be? Oh, Tango says, when you have the options below, 
buy it now for for postage it's changed well mine has to postage policy so i want to change all oh, right no i've not seen that one tango that is new i don't use i don't use policies at all i mean i do free postage anyway so it doesn't matter but um i never use the policies is anyone going to do their tax return on the 6th of april um i'll i'll probably do it in may sometime dig because I don't actually think it's possible to do it on the 6th of April because you've probably not got all your receipts and your expenditure. It's probably not landed in your account yet. There's, there'll probably still be some outstanding. So I don't actually think it's probably possible to do it on the 6th. Um, I'll probably do mine in May, I reckon. Get it done and out of the way. Uh, Flipping Al said, I thrifted in New York in Hell's Kitchen. Sadly, didn't find anything. I've done a bit of thrifting in new york actually in new york new york new york um been to a few thrift stores and done some retail arbitrage like you know at gamestop stuff like that but i've not done so much in the outer lying areas of new york Yes, that's the offers glitch. Sometimes it shows we can send an offer on everything we've listed that day. Yeah, yeah. I've had it all day today. It's been a pain in the backside. Postage is, yeah, postage is getting out of hand at the minute, isn't it? Cheap Charlie said I had a good snoop over Vinted this weekend. Games and such like for one pound fifty that would normally be on eBay for fifteen to twenty. Do you think more buyers are choosing Vinted now? Possibly. Yeah, I'd, I definitely think it's having an effect on it. Vinted's popular. It's popular at the minute, so I definitely think I think eBay are losing custom to the other the other platforms. I mean, eBay gum. You know, everyone will be going there. Just ask uh, Derek. Oh, hang on a minute. Vicar of Pallet Town. Wow, what a name. I'm starting to wonder if it's the time of year. My Etsy shop tanked last year, last week, but it's picked up a little bit this week. Check the graph last year. It's similar last year. Could be, Vicar. I mean, people before were saying about half term, you know, we're about to hit Easter. You know, have people got other things on their mind? I don't know. I don't always buy into these, into massive swings of seasonality but possibly there's some seasonality going on yeah depop have changed their fee structure yep yeah, to the din vinted method whereby buyers are now responsible for paying the fees and there's no fees for sellers on depop but i'm still not going to use them because i just don't like the platform much fletch one welcome Flipping out said, I've reconciled my accounts up to December and just need to do January to March and then can do tax return in April end of. Get it out. Yeah, get it out of the way. Some, a lot of people, you know, I see a lot of resellers like do their tax return and you'll know you, there'll be people in the chat and it's absolutely fine because it's within the law. You know, people doing it literally in January when the deadline is for the previous year. But I can't cope with that. I, I like to get mine out of the way very, very quickly after April. So I'll probably go, I'll probably do mine in May because then I'll know that all my transactions are completed. And if I've got any errors uh, that I need to mop up, I'll mop them up, make sure all my uh, categories are correct and stuff. And then I'll just get it done in May. I don't think there'll be any need to wait any longer. I don't. I don't know why there's a need to wait any longer than that. Alison said when Etsy went bad last year, they were tweaking loads. So I think eBay are changing something big with all these. I do as well, Alison. I'm, I'm of the opinion that eBay are doing a lot of changes in the background um, at the minute. And there you go. There's there's always one or two, isn't there? Tommy Lee, 20 years I've done my tax returns in January. 
I don't like waiting that long, Tommy. I just get mine. I get mine out of the way. Out of the way, I can forget about it. And JLL does as well. I knew there'd be loads of people that do. Um, right. Let's move on with the show. What have we got on? Let's do... Let's do... Oh, hang on a minute. Dave's put a comment in before we move on. You can drive yourself nuts trying to guess the reasons for poor sales. It's always a better idea to look at month to month rather than weeks. Yeah, totally agree with you, Dave, but this month's been shit. Shit. So I am looking at month to month, and this month's been shit. <clears throat> Flea market Jeff. <laughs> Starting new rumours. <laughs> Sam and Bell said, um, I do mine early in April or May. Yeah, I'll get mine out of the way. May. Let it all settle down. I always not outnumbered, says. Uh, I do it after the second payment in July. Makes sense. Right, let's move on. Let's do uh let's do sale of the week. Here we go. I hope and pray we can sell it all on eBay. So despite it being a crappy sales week, I have had some sales. I'm not saying I haven't had any sales, so uh thankful for small mercies. I have had a sale or two. Um so I'm going to share my screen present. Share the screen. I'm going to share, what is it, that one there. So this is going to be my sale of the week. Pick this up uh, not so long ago in a job lot of um, sports jerseys. I can't remember if this was in the hand pick that I did or if this came in another lot because I was working my way through a load of jerseys and it was all mixed up, so I can't remember now. Uh, this went on an offer for £85. It will have cost me somewhere between £10 and £12, depending on which job lot. I... Ooh, oh, I thought that was an offer coming. Bloody hell, offer expired. Um, £85 that went for, so I'm going to put that down as this week's sale of the week. Still a nice sale for a sort of a, a £10 to £12 cost price. Not too bad at all. And this is um, Carolina. So Jeff, Jeff's in the house from Carolina. Carolina Tar Heels. Shout out to Jeff. Let's get back to StreamYard. There you go. He recognises, recognises. It was a nice sale. Thank you, M's Den. Oh, talking of M's Den, um, I don't know about you guys, but I really, really miss M's Den. We've not had a video for a while, have we? And I know they're dead busy at the moment, so I think, I think we need to sort of rally round and get M's Den back on YouTube again. Cooking the Haydens. Oh. Cookie and the Haydens that are really kind, lovely people, very funny. We love cooking the Haydens. 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 I know they'll appreciate that. They'll be absolutely dying inside right now. Uh, I keep meaning to clip something else I've seen of theirs as well, but um, I keep forgetting. So I might clip something else just to. Just to annoy him even more. But yeah, we need Ems Den back on our screens, don't we? When are they coming back? It was a good sale. Thank you, Vicar. Yeah, it was a nice sale. If eBay if eBay resellers don't make any sales, they won't have any money, then who will what not sellers sell to? True, yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. Where's that? Where have they gone? <laughs> Always an excuse to play the clip, guys. Come on. This is free promo for you. 
Yes, that's the one. That's what I need to clip. Have you got a clip of it, Jeff? If you've got the clip, send it me and I'll, I'll, I'll upload it to StreamYard for future use. I know. Please come back. Well, they vanished off the face of the earth. We need them back. Um, right. OK. Uh, I've got one for you. Oh, sorry. I used I used to like predicting if their jigsaw was complete. Um, I'm there hoping to get a video out this week. Woo uh, right. Let's move on because we've got lots more to do. What have we got? Let's do this one. Oh, we've not done one of these for ages. <laughs> It's a comment of the week. Comment of the week. Here we go. I've been looking forward to sharing this one. Wicker withdrawal. Yeah. Um, comment of the week this week was on a YouTube video. In fact, it was on last week's Monday night show. So, excuse me, bear that in mind with this comment. Here we go. Last week's Monday night show. Where is it? Here it is. So apparently Harley thinks that our show is nothing but cringeworthy viewing. Watched five minutes of several posts. I don't know what that means. Uh, five minutes of several posts as a double act and then a, a slappy face type of emoji. Um, so my reply was, you just wanted to be in the duck race, didn't you? Bless. With a little heart sign. So, yeah, apparently we're cringeworthy. Maybe. Maybe we are. I don't know. But whatever. They left us a comment. They watched five other videos by the sounds of it. So happy days. Thank you, uh, Har Harley or whatever it is. Appreciate it. No. I put that the, they just wanted to be in the duck race, but don't worry, flipping out. I didn't give them the honour of entering the duck race. No, they're not in it. They do not get the honour. They don't, you don't get the honour of entering our duck race by insulting us. Yeah, probably, probably, because it's so cringeworthy. You just got to come back for more, haven't you? Cringeworthy is still worthy. Yes, so it's a win, definitely. Exactly, Joan, thank you, yeah. Totally. Cheap Charlie says, I never understand the negative comments. If if I don't like what I've started to watch, I just stop watching. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? It's it's weird how um how YouTube works like that. I ne I never comment on the video. Like if I'm watching something and I'm, I think I can't be asked carrying on, I'll I'll you know I'll go watch something else. I never comment. I ain't, I ain't got time to comment on a video that I don't like. A non-creative miserable. I like that. Yeah. Car boot cringe. Yes. <laughs> totally. Yeah, totally. Uh, anyway, that's this week's comment of the week. Uh, should we play a game? Where's my thing? There it is. Let's play a game. Uh, where's the, uh, where's the thing? Uh, okay, here we go. Are we ready for this? Here we go. Great Scott. I know, this is heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. It's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. This is heavy. Right, guys, if you're watching, you want to take part, you can do, anyone in the world can take part in this little game. All you've got to do is guess the weight of the item that I'm about to show you. I want to know what the weight is in grams. Anyone can take part in the whole world. Um, and if you go over, you go bust. You've got to be under the amount or on it. And the first person to uh, get it right in the chat will be the winner. Or the first person who gets it closest. So um, I'm going to show you something. 
Okay, this arrived this week, something that I bought. Now, it's not what it says on the box. This is just a box. It's a reused box. It's nothing to do with that. Well, kind of, but it's not, actually. So, um, in this box, there is an absolute ton of Funko Mystery Minis. I bought a massive lot of Mystery Minis. There's probably there's at least 40 Mystery Minis in here. All different kinds. They're all little plastic figures in case you don't know what mystery minis are. They're made by Funko. Uh, they're they're pint-sized minis. Uh, but yeah, there's about 40 of these things. Plus, it includes the weight of the box as well. So I want to know what this big box of mystery minis weighs in grams. Put it in the chat now. There's loads of them. About 40-ish. Put it in the chat. And whoever's nearest without going over will be the winner. And the winner will get something sent in the post by us. Um, a little present in the post. Uh, it's not this. That's not what you win. It is something else that we will send you. Um, so we're seeing some guesses. And I'm going to start the countdown now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I actually forgot to write down the amount. So I'll just put it there to remind me so I don't forget. Okay. The birdsies went for 57 grams. 57 grams. Right, I'm going to put end in the chat. Any guesses after the word end in my chat, you are disqualified. You are out. So here we go. End. Right. Let me go back to the beginning of all the guesses, which there is quite a lot tonight. There's 152 people watching. Welcome, everybody. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Um, oh, can we do that? Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Uh, right. Let's see who's winning. Right. At the moment, Pitco is leading at 450 grams. Husty's Emporium now leads 597. And Tam and Bell are in at 876, currently leading. Tam and Bell leading. Dave ABL takes the lead at 1,012 grams, just over a kilo. Um, Santa is now leading at 1,225 grams. Santa could be winning here. Uh, 1,225. Santa is leading. Santa's still leading. Secret Carp has gone way over. Oh, hang on a minute. One, two, two, five. No, Ella. Sorry, Ella. You were close, but Santa's still leading. I think Santa's going to take this. This is going to be an expensive send for me. Santa's definitely going to win this, I think. Lisa was close. I did the U3M tape. I think Santa... Oh, hang on a minute. Flip and Phil have just taken over Santa. Flip and Phil. Sorry, Santa. Sorry. Flip and Phil now lead at 1265. That's it. Flip and Phil, you're the winners. Flip and Phil are the winners. It's the box reinforced with steel. And Dig says, are they made of lead? You're just so bad at guessing these weights. Right, Flip and Phil, you are the winner. Um, the actual weight of this box was 1,329 grams, 1 1.3 kilos. Um, so the closest was Flip and Phil. Please send me a message, guys. Um, I'll just write your name down. Flip and Phil. Um, send me a message with your address and we'll get a prize out to you as soon as possible. Well done to you. Um, yeah, Santa nearly had it. Santa, you nearly had it there. It was very close. Santa doesn't even know how much a gram is. He only knows pounds. Sorry, sorry, uh, Jeff. 
get back on the scales and don't press down. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there you go. So 1.3 kilos. Uh, okay. Well done to Flip and Phil. Uh, right. Let's do this week's. We've got an oh no. We've not had an oh no for ages. The re relief on Chris's face. <laughs> I would have sent it. It'd only been about. It'd have only been about two quid or something. Two pound something or something to send. It's not a lot of money. Um, let's do an oh no. We've not had one for a while. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> right. This week's oh no. I need to share the screen for. So a few weeks back, I sold this amazing Star Wars bust. And let me share the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Why is it not coming up? Hang on. I think I need to remove the other one off. Hang on. Stop that one. Present. Share. There, here we go. Uh, yeah, that's the one. So I sold this amazing uh, Star Wars bust. It was pretty heavy. It's like a resin bust. And it's a TIE pilot from Star Wars. Um, really, really nice. Did have a couple of little blemishes on it, but other than that, it was pretty good. And it was a limited numbered edition. And it sold for 130 quid, not 149. It went on an offer for 130 pound. And it went all the way to the USA and um, via GSP. So they must have paid a fair chunk on GSP. But unfortunately, it never arrived. It, um, the delivery got refused or got rejected for some reason. Now, the buyer says it wasn't them. Well, it got rejected. When you look on the track and it says delivery refused or something like that, and it says return to sender. And then on the 29th of February, why does that keep expiring? Uh, on the 29th of February, the tracking goes silent. And we've had um, three and a bit weeks. And that tracking has not moved. It, it was last somewhere in the US um, getting ready to be returned to sender. And it's vanished. Who knows where it is? Maybe it will just land on my doorstep here one day. And that would be great if it did. Because eBay have um, refunded my buyer because it was GSP and it never got delivered. And also they've allowed me to keep my money as well because I've got the um, GSP cover. So um, there was no risk to me really for that. But it's still really annoying because this was a really fantastic uh display piece limited edition and it it's lost somewhere in the ether or someone's nicked it so pretty annoying but everyone's happy by Buy, buyers not happy happy but at least they've got their money back um um who knows maybe in a few weeks it will suddenly land on my doorstep here and i'll be able to relist it again and make some more make it make the sale again on it but it is pretty annoying when something really nice like that never gets to its destination. What of eBay? Yeah, eBay um, allowed me to keep the money and they refunded my buyer as well. So happy days really all round. In a, yeah, exactly. It's It's gone somewhere. Who knows where it is? If it does come back, stick my address on it. Yeah, okay, Paul. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it is such a shame. Really, really is. Such a nice item. You'll find it over the back gate, probably. Yeah, maybe. It would be nice if it does arrive back here, because I can resell it again. But uh, I've got a feeling I'm never going to see it again. Uh, free market, Jeff said, I would have disqualified myself in the heavy, heavy, heavy uh, segment anyway. Double guessed with my standard 314. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you probably would have been disqualified. Uh, yeah, because you, you're only allowed one guess. So no cheating. 
So yeah, that was this week's Oh No. And let's do uh, a few thank yous, as we always do. A really big thank you to all our channel members. Um, we've got Matt Sell Stuff, Glamour's Closet, Paul Daubney, GT Prelove, Chris Smith, Rachel Nash, Phil Higginson, Tam and Bell, Secret Carper, Hillary Rhodes, Steve O, Anything Vintage, Amma Reseller, Queenie Conquest, The Tap Peddler, Resale Oasis, Shabba, Mick Page, Drink and Dive, The Monkey Thrifter, Retro Electronic Repair, The Dave, Soul Steps, Santa, Andrew Milburn, SB Reselling, Ems Den, Andy Incognito, Craig Wood, Cy, Keith Pitko, Yorkshire Mix, George's Treasure Shed, Once Loved, and Tango Two Pints. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate you being part of our VIP uh, team. And if anybody else is interested in joining the Motley crew that we have, um, you get lots of little benefits. It's basically, a, if you enjoy the channel and you want to support our channel and say thank you, then it's it's basically a way to do that. But also, we're giving back um, some value for your money as well. It's only two ninety nine a month. And the main thing is you get entry into our Discord group, which is really great, to be honest with you. Lots of people helping each other on Discord in a little private group. So you don't have to put your questions in a public forum. It's private. It doesn't matter what your question is. We'll we'll all try and help each other out. Anyway, um, if anyone wants to join, just click that um, membership or join button underneath and there'll be more information on there. Please only join the VIP one. Don't join the gold. Uh, the gold is more expensive and you don't get anything extra. And I'm trying to shut down the gold and just have VA VIP. So as soon as all the gold members have left gold and gone on to VIP, I'm going to shut down gold and there'll only be VIP available. But yeah, it's all good. Uh, the force is not with you. <laughs> yes. uh, Husty said, um, I got a River Island handbag back on a return when i clearly sent it brand new when i clearly sent a brand new ralph loren one out and they they get a refund too i did get to keep the money though but it's yeah it's not the point is it husty yeah really annoying that just block that user sorry yeah there was another one of them bus, yeah. The two fails on the big bus, Jeff. Uh, the other one got smashed to bits by Royal Mail, of all people. Um, and people think every are bad. Literally, Royal Mail absolutely obliterated that bus. Christ knows what they did with it, but it was in pieces. Yeah, so it was another one of those bus that went for a Burton. Oh, hi, Kevin. Welcome. It's good of you to join us for the first time. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Is it cringy or is it okay? Let us know. It doesn't matter either way, but interested to know. Um, can we all agree, says Paul, uh, that not leaving feedback should be illegal? It should. Um, I don't know why it doesn't. eBay don't adopt the Vinted way. I mean, lots of people are adopting the Vinted way, aren't they? Because Vinted are obviously doing something very, very right with the way they're working their platform. But with Vinted, if you don't leave feedback within a certain amount of time, you just get a five-star auto feedback. So why not do that? At least then your feedback score will reflect the number of transactions that you've made, which would be better, wouldn't it? That would be better than just having a number of people who can be asked to leave feedback. It would be better to have a number of transactions. I mean, admittedly, some, some like, you know, like Magpie or World of Books, People like that are going to go into the trillions, but they can shorten it down a bit, can't they? Gone for a burn, yeah. <laughs> That's an old saying, that, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Elaine. That's very kind of you. I, I wasn't, I wasn't fishing for compliments, by the way. It's just, I just did find that, I did find that comment very amusing. Bring on Vinted Pro, yes, get in there, yeah. Yeah, I look forward to that, although I do worry that the platform will change from what it is now. But everything has to evolve, doesn't it? Right, where are we up to? What time are we on? Nine o'clock. We're getting close to the duck race for everyone who's entered. Don't forget, everybody, if you're new here, and we have got some new people in, um, if you went to want to enter our duck race, which is going to be starting very, very soon, um, 
all you need to do is when tonight's show is finished, just come back to the video. Uh, it will be up on the channel as a video like that you can watch back. So just come back to the video and leave a comment. It it won't it doesn't count if you're commenting when we're live. It's got to be when the, the video is over, when the live show is over. Make a comment and you will get entered into next week's duck race as a result of that comment. Apart from the fact if you uh, are abusive towards us, and then you definitely will not get entered. Uh, Lana says, as a buyer, I'm finding eBay more and more confusing to use. Vinted have nailed it. And you know what, Lana? I hope Vinted don't change too much because, you know, eBay used to be dead easy as well, didn't it? eBay used to be a piece of cake, and now it is getting more and more complicated. I understand what you're saying. Um, but it's it's weird how platforms feel the need to keep adding this and adding that instead of just sitting on a formula that works. And I hope Vinted don't feel the need to, um, you know, keep changing and keep, you know, don't change it if it's not broken. Um, Duck Ray says, Jeff, gifts for all. Welcome. Don't like feedback as seller can't leave negatives. Yeah, it's just one. Used to be able to. Used to be able to leave negatives, but now you can't. So it's very, very unfair. It's very unfair. You can't sell everything on Vinted, though. You can sell a lot of things. What can't you sell? Give us an example, Nicola, because you can sell in a lot of categories. Uh, I'm not sure what categories you can't. So, yeah, let us know. You, you'll, you'll be right, but I, don't, I just don't know what the categories are. Uh, little Steve is in. Welcome. Alison says, does Vinted in the UK have authentication? We have it on items. It gets rid of loads of fakes. I think I've seen an advert for this, Alison. I think it is something that they're starting in the UK, but um, I've not seen anything more than that. I think I'm sure I've seen an advert or I've seen an email about it, but I'm not 100% sure on it yet. Uh, but uh, Vinted in the UK is absolutely flooded with fake football shirts. It's the worst thing you've ever seen in your life. You search any like Premier League football team on a football shirt, and um, anything between twenty and thirty pound is is pretty much fake. It's like you see loads of them at around the twenty five pound mark, and they're this season's shirts, and you just know that they are fake. There's so many; it's unbelievable. Electronics you can't sell electronics on. Well, you can sell consoles. You can sell computer consoles. That's electronics, isn't it? Or is it just the broad category of electronics? You never was on eBay when it started. You had to... I was on eBay from the year 2000. So I was only four years. I think they opened in 96. So I was only four years behind. But I, it was very different to what it is now. I mean, the basics of it is the same, but there's so many layers to eBay now. If I say in the comments, geez, yes, you will be excluded, Tom. Yes. Hi, Jordy Reseller. Jeff says, was watching a whatnot seller today. He just had his radio on in the background. Whatnot must not care about music copyright issues like other platforms. I think they have some kind of, um, they must have, Jeff, some kind of uh, agreement with the, um, what do you call it? Is it PM? I want to say PMS, but not, that's not it, is it? What's the copyright thing that you have to get to play music in the background, say, in your shop and stuff like that? 
I think they must have some kind of agreement with them otherwise it wouldn't be allowed would they oh I tried to sell magazines told I couldn't sell magazines all oh, right and tap paddler says you can't sell a lot no vcrs or ceramic <laughs> ceramic bread bins <laughs> bloody hell derek how many ceramic bread bins do you want to sell on vinted uh, i'm sure you can't sell stationary on vinted too i remember thinking that was a bit random i'm sure i've seen stationary on vinted i've seen people selling some stationery. prs that's it prs license yeah they they must have they must have some kind of agreement with it What is going on here with badges? Stuffed badges have to be worded carefully. <laughs> Don't knock ceramic bread bins. <laughs> Bloody hell. I was just laughing at Derek just coming up with, you can't sell this and you can't sell that and you can't sell ceramic bread bins. I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, uh, where are we up to? Right, this week, it's What Not Wednesday this week. So if you want to come and join me on Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., uh, this week is going to be uh, figures, collectibles. We're going to have our normal sort of wall on here. We, we call it a wall. And basically, it's a, a wall of items. Normally have about 12 items on the wall. And when you bid for, you, you are bidding for the right to pick. So you can pick anything from the wall from the 12 items. And then when that when you've picked your item, I um, I put some in the hole where where you took your item from, and it's back to being a twelve item wall, and the bidding starts again for the next item. So that's how it kind of operates when I do a collectibles and figures and toys and stuff. So that's going to be this week on Wednesday. If you have never signed up for whatnot, I'll repeat it again. In the description underneath the video, there is a link that will say something like free credit on whatnot. If you've never signed up to whatnot, you can use that link to sign up and you and me both get some free credit to spend. I think you get a, at least a tenner, which is not to be sniffed at. Ten quid. I think I only get a fiver now. It's a bit, it's gone down. It's remember Poshmark. They started off offering higher referral rewards and I think they slowly started reducing it. And then they went bust. So I'm expecting whatnot to go bust soon. They haven't got any more. They haven't got any more money to give out. So yeah, whatnot Wednesday, six thirty p.m. Uh, there's a link in my description. If if you're already on whatnot, you can still use the link and it'll go to my page anyway. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. And also the podcast this week is going to be with somebody who's going to talk to us about what it's like thrifting in New York City. So that should be interesting. I wonder who some people have guessed who who they think it might be, but you're going to have to wait and see until at least until the thumbnail comes out. You have to wait and see. But I'm hoping that's going to be later this week. So keep your eye out for that. What not Wednesday walls from Wales? Exactly. Thank you, Jeff. Lynn Lynn's looking forward to it. Is it Bill Gates? Right. Let's get, should we get ready for the duck race? Should we do the duck race? I think I've done, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Unless you've got any more questions, any more topics of conversation, we'll get ready for the duck race. I've done everything on my list tonight. It's because Bell's not here, like, you know, like dragging things out, um, I'm able to get through things a bit quicker. Okay. Let me make sure I've finished. Just give me a sec. Oh, hang on a minute. Something going on on eBay here. Oh, item paid for. Oh, that's something. 
Right, I've got three. Right, let's just test this now. I've got three offers to send out. Let's see if it lets me send all the offers out. Send offers. I'm going to do a percentage for, for them all just to make life easier. Can't be asked doing individual on this one. All have gone. So all offers have gone. Now, that was not happening earlier today. I was getting one or two out of every single batch that was failing. So at least all the offers have gone out. Let's just make sure we've got everyone for the duck race. Uh, you'll have to talk amongst yourselves for a second while I just put the names in. Copy and paste the names. Oh, we've got 65 ducks in the race tonight. 65 ducks in a row. Uh, Babs is in. Welcome, Babs. And yes, I've kept up very, very well with the chat. Very difficult. 150 odd people in the chat tonight. Very difficult to keep up with the chat, but um, yeah, you do kind of get used to it. So I might have missed some comments. I do apologize. She won't. She don't watch back. She won't watch back. She could be watching now, but she might not be. But uh, she probably won't watch back. Will do. Will do. Come on, the cat peddler. Yeah. Uh, Paul Rose um, says hi, Chris. Sent a huge T two bust with light up eyes to Australia, and that was smashed. Oh, what a sickness. Covered by GSP, but it's it's part lose point. At least you don't lose out monetary wise. But it's so annoying when stuff, amazing items like that, uh, never make it to their destination. It's so sad. I'll pass it on. Don't worry, everyone. Okay, let's share the screen and get the duck race going. I need to get rid of that one actually. Hang on. Present the screen. Here we go. Duck race. Two minutes. Let's just get the M's Den says good luck to everybody in the duck race. Um where's duck tails gone? Here we go. Good luck, everybody, from Alison. Don't forget to hit the likes. Thank you, Jordy. Right. Are we all ready? Let's shuffle these ducks. 65 in the race. Uh, the winner of the duck race will get 100 free listings on eBuy Gum. Anyway, here we go. And they're off. The duck race starts and everybody is very closely packed at the start of the race. AMPR, I can see all rows. I can see Elaine Parks and Titch and Bell's Cozy Corner. Dabber all at the front of the pack. As we start off the race, Del Boy runs towards the top as well. Retro Boot Disc and M's Den UK are there as well. Um, as the pack sort of starts separating out, M's Den UK is still taking the lead here with Jamie D as well up, up front. Uh, Dizzy J, David M and Dirk Dibler along with Lincoln Seller. Lincoln Seller and David M and Nick Ducks, of course. That always gives them a slight advantage over the rest. David M is maintaining his lead. At the front with Chris Tyler as well, another naked duck. Dorothy Watkinson coming up at the bottom with Hillary Rhodes in the middle. Retro Hawk coming up and down like a yo-yo. Jeff Davis with the purple duck retro electronic repair as well, also towards the front of the pack now. And Hawkins Emporium as a clown, uh, also making an appearance there. Let's have a look towards the back. Who's floundering? Who's got absolutely no chance of doing this? 
Well, I'm going to say Les Wilkins is absolutely useless right now. Jake Entwistle's doing nothing. Tap Peddler is moving backwards. And Limite Vint is pretty much going out of the scene right now. And Netspresso is coming up at the top. I can see some movement from AMPR now coming back to the front. Sam and Bell resell currently lead the pack. Bear Trains TV in second. Kathy in third. Sarah B in fourth. It's all pretty close at the top. Maybe Lazy Jane as Donald Trump will come up Trump towards the end. And we've got XDC Gaming came up and then fought second. Second thought center has now gone completely off the screen. Kathy, Lazy Jane, Tam and Bell are the top three. It's going to be one of those three that wins this. Kathy's just running away with this. Santa hat on. Nope, Kathy has died a death. And it looks like it's going to be Busy J that comes out of the middle of the pack. Busy J wins. Dizzy J came out of the middle of the pack and won the race. Beat Kathy at the last second. Well done to Dizzy J. You are a winner of the duck race. Dizzy J wins. Well done, Dizzy J. I'm going to write that name down. Um, please send me a message, Dizzy J. Send me a message on Instagram or Facebook, please. And um, send me your address. I will pass your address on to George's Treasure Shed, who is sending out this week's prize. So thank you, George. Really appreciate the prize. A pirate duck. And... Um, yeah, that will go out as soon as possible, as soon as George is able to send it out, and as soon as I have your address. So, well done to Dizzy J. Let me turn the duck off. Everyone's saying, well done, Dizzy J. Husty's Emporium, was I in it? So I don't know. I'm pretty sure you was in it. I'm sure I saw your name, to be fair. Uh, it was a big finish, wasn't it, Joan? Yeah. Congrats from Carol. Oh, let me turn this off. Hang on. Don't want to hear that again, do we? You'll be going to bed humming that song. Uh, first win for Dizzy J, I believe. Duck race number 111. Oh, there we are. Dizzy J is in. Well done to Dizzy. Uh, please send me a message with your address on. I'll get that passed on. We can get your prize out to you as soon as possible. What's um, M-Dem been saying to Retro? Your duck is number 50. What does that mean? Is that, how, is that his birthday number? Is that how old he is? Vinyl Nuts said, I've just been on... On eBay gum, it's hard to find it. Yeah, it's still there's there's that's been a running thing with eBay gum is that their search uh, function just doesn't seem to doesn't seem to yield the right results. It's always been like that. Uh, Chris, uh, did you cut my legs off? <laughs> ah, fifty. There we go. I thought I thought that might be what it was. Wow, the big five oh half a century, Tommy. That is old. That is old. I'm not gonna lie. I'm way off that. I've got ages yet before I get to that. Wow, 30 people have left since the duck race ended. That's amazing. 30 people left. Anyone <clears throat> anyone got any more chit chat before we finish up for tonight? Any more questions? Any more comments on eBay, the glitches, how your sales have been, or anything like that? I'm happy to go another 10 minutes. <laughs> Rude. Um you're next, Chris. Ages yet, yeah, Ems then ages. I've got years. Years to go. Alison says I'm antique then. And Paul reckons only 30. Uh, Joan, Joan's very, very offended. Excuse me, if 50 is old, then I'm ancient. 70 this year. My daughter is 34. Uh, 
Uh, Carol says, my, I've had five return requests this week and had none for the last three months. It's, you know what? I always, I always find that the return requests come in batches. You really do. You, I mean, it's completely random, obviously, because you, the items you sell are random and the fact that someone wants to return it is random. But they do seem to happen in batches. You, you get none for weeks, just like you've said there, Carol. And then you'll, you'll get several in one go. I find sometimes you get two or three in a day and then you never hear any more for ages. Very, very weird. Uh, Paul says sales are shocking, Chris. Thought it was just me until I said, no, it's not just you, Paul. There's lots of people. But just keep working. Just keep listing. Keep plugging away. It will write itself. eBay go through these uh, ups and downs, glitches. Some people have glitches, some people don't. Some people's sales are great and some people's are terrible. It's just the way it is. Um, it's always been like that. You just got to ride, uh, ride the roller coaster. It's my 50th next month. Scary, says Once Loved. I suppose it is. 50 is, is a big number, isn't it? It's like, where's the years all gone? I mean, I'm not far off 50. Where where have all the years gone? And Nicola's 50 this year as well. Yeah, they come in batches. They definitely do. Don't fit or change of mind. Uh, Jeff said it's confirmed. Lee did have the duck number 50 with light grey spots on it on his 50th birthday. Uh, Paul said, I'm 53, Chris. I used to look a, a lot younger, but uh, eBay lately is grinding me down. I had two and one I had only just posted and she wanted to return it and she kept it a week later. Probably used it and then decided to send it back. I've got one open return at the moment, which uh, they opened like two weeks ago. And still haven't returned it, so I'm hoping that one times out. Oh, Babs. Babs have got some big news, guys. Babs actually purchased something from eBuy Gum. Um, I never actually received their item. I mean, oh. oh. We've been waiting so long for an eBuy Gum sale, and then Babs never even got it. Can I ask, Babs, are you okay saying what the item It's okay if you don't want to, but... What did you buy or what did you attempt to buy on eBay gum? Are, are you OK sharing it? If not, it's fine because it could be something sensitive. But what did you try and buy on eBay gum that you never received? Uh, Lime might say, have you listed? Or, yeah, all the Florida stuff was, was listed within two weeks of me coming back. It was all on. I literally made a proper effort to get everything on. So, yeah, it's all listed. It's all ticking away. I'm getting sales in every every day or so. You know, some it sells. Jeff says he's 57 in October. Tam and Bella both 41 next month. You say I wouldn't have said you was 41, Tam. No, I really wouldn't. You know, I would have said you were closer to 51. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, Vinyl Nuts says, my wife does a car boot every Sunday and the sales are the same there. This has been her first good week. It's still pretty nippy though, isn't it, Nuts? Pre still pretty cold and miserable. People don't want to come out at the moment, I don't think. I don't. I'm, I'm an avid car booter. You know, car boot Chris, it's in the name. I don't want to go to car boots at the moment. I just don't want to go. I've just got no interest in going at the moment. I, I'm, I'm going to wait until it's warmer weather. Uh, Paul Rose, I had to. All I've had today is a twenty-five pound offer on a sixty-pound item. Yeah, that's probably what it is, Richard. Um, they probably listed it a long time ago on uh, eBay Gum and forgot about it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. 
Uh, Chris Tyler said, I put 12 items on eBay gum 1st of March. No sales yet. Took two off as they sold on the eBay. Fingers crossed you'll be okay, Husty. Alison said, I'm 58. Honestly, don't know where the years have gone. I know. Just fly. Life just flies, doesn't it? Okay. We've dragged it out another five minutes. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. I know it's only been me on my own, and Belle will be back next week, hopefully. We'll have our Easter show. We've got, we've got some Easter games or giveaways or something. We've got something lined up for the Easter show, so we're going to try and do that next week. Um, in the meantime, this week we've got What Not Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Please come and join me, What Not Wednesday. I've got loads of cool collectibles, toys, figures, uh, some T-shirts, stuff like that. Uh, that's that's at 6.30 on Wednesday. Link in the description to my channel and whatnot. Uh, we're going to have a podcast this week. I don't know which day, so just keep an eye out for that. I will advertise it when it comes up. But, um, yeah, what's it like thrifting in New York City? That is the subject for the podcast. And I don't actually know what my weekend video is going to be because I've finished with the Florida ones. I haven't got a boot sale video. Oh, I'll tell you what I might be doing this weekend uh married to reselling started a bit of a movement about bubble wrap measurements and are we actually getting what we are paying for well guess what i've had my bubble wrap delivered today and i, I immediately thought to myself shall we measure it and i'm gonna measure it i might do it tomorrow film it tomorrow put it out at the weekend i'm gonna measure it i've been using this bubble wrap seller on ebay for quite a while and i'm hoping they're not going to let me down and when it arrived today i looked at it and i thought it doesn't it, it actually doesn't look like 100 meters so i'm a, i'm slightly concerned that it's not going to be 100 meters but if you if you're wondering what i'm talking about go and see married to reselling's channel they've been measuring bubble wrap from different sellers and almost every time people are getting massively shortchanged on their bubble wrap blunts so, yeah, I'm going to measure it, and that might be this week's video. Um, I hope everybody has a good week. All your sales pick up. Uh, Carol got my T-shirts and keyrings from last week. Great. Thank you so much, Carol. Really appreciate your purchases. Uh, have a good week, everybody. Really appreciate everybody coming along tonight. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, I might do tape as well, Paul. I might do tape. Can still measure it, but I have to. I have to sacrifice a roll to do it. Not like the bubble wrap. I can reuse it. The great bubble wrap scam. It is. It. It does look like it, doesn't it? Uh, I'm going to measure it. That's what she said. I was going to end it on that, but it was too long a pause, wasn't it? I was going to end it on that's what she said. Uh, anyway, thanks, everyone. We'll see you again soon. Hopefully, we'll see you next Monday for an Easter show. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Fingers crossed for your eBay sales. Fingers crossed. See ya. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones. Uh, give it a go or you can subscribe by pressing this button here there you go see you later